Now, in rugby, you can get some big, big kicks. And then you can get some absolutely huge kicks. Let's watch some now. And if you do enjoy, like, subscribe. Check out the Discord down below as well. Merchandise if you, uh, yeah. And also buy me a coffee if you are so generous. If you do merchandise or buy me a coffee, you get access to extra free content that won't be going on YouTube. Enjoy. Another youngster uh, coming into the uh, ranks at, um, um, at Racing Metro, of course. You know, you got a, you got a good uh, espoir, good, um, you know, youngster set up there with lots of young players coming through. Oh, look at that. It's a drop Jesus. goal attempt. Jesus. It's absolutely massive. Look at <laughs> oh my word. Oh, my Lord. He's, Where did that come from? He's Christ. hit that from 60. And that could, is remarkable. He could have, that could have gone over another look, 30 metres. That's 60. Bang. Oh, oh my good gracious oh. me. That is absolutely astonishing. Now, bear in mind even the commentators are amazed by that. That's 60, 60 metres, 60 yards, whatever out. Um, I think it's metres. Um, roughly that's insane and as the commentator said it could have probably gone another 30 because that had some decent height on it as well Jesus now I said I think I, um, I did a, a, a video a while back and I can't remember which team it was but they kicked I think like six conversions from a distance six conversions and they just kept doing it and getting points and I said well, why do more teams not just do that? If it's an easy point, you know, if it, sorry, if it's easy points, why do more teams do that? And, and obviously people said, well, it's not quite that easy. And I said, well, maybe you have a specialist. I do have a rugby ball. I do plan on giving it a go because I need to find out how difficult it is. Just waiting for my leg to get a bit better. So, yeah, hold tight and, and uh, I will have a go at some point soon. And I'll tell you, you won't believe this, but that is the Welsh 10 metres line, and Paul Thorburn is going to attempt a goal. It's miles to those goalposts. He is, of course, a big kicker. He scored 438 points last season for Neath. But this would be a monster. Thorburn then. Whoa. What a belt he's given it. Man, that that's ridiculous. Now, what's interesting is actually, when I think of someone who can kick the ball very far, I always think more of a, a forwards run up rather than a sideways um, because you want that power to get the distance. So if you think of football, um, a power shot, you have a you have a, a run back that's... Uh, you run from straight back normally. Um if you want to get the curve on the ball, and I don't think David Beckham, for example, you would stand to the side. That's the sort of thing I teach the kids when I teach football. He had such a wide run up. So to be able to get that power as well, that makes it even more impressive. Insane. How far was that? Because there's no real turn. There's no turn on it. Oh, it only sneaked in as well. Yeah, he's not scoring from there. Elliot Daly made his first start for England against South Africa in 2016. That's got enough distance. It's an incredible kick from Elliot Daly from more than 60 metres. What, what's actually quite interesting is, now some of these have been from the floor and some of these have been from the hand. Now, as I've been watching AFL a lot, they often score from 50 metres. I think I've got two balls, hang on. I have an AFL ball. And I have a rugby ball, so I have I do have both both balls. Okay, 
I'm just wondering, is it easier to kick with a, what you call a Sharon, or is it easier to kick with a rugby ball? I don't know. Um, but for in is in Aussie rules, they find it they they score a lot. Hang on, I'm just looking at the size. A rugby ball is bigger. It is slightly bigger, and it's obviously a different material. So I, I said it seems that in in Aussie rules that it's a more common occurrence to score from fifty meters, um, and it's less so in rugby. I wonder why. Is it the size and and weight of the ball as well? Is it something that's just not practiced as much? Saw him warming up, Stuart, and he was striking the ball beautifully. He's a very big kicker. He's a strong young lad, and he really is going for it here. Look, well, he was watching this from our position at the top of the stand. The wind seems to be blowing against Reese Patchell. Yes, See, and they we all have him a, a very it was about a wide run. Meters out, and we said he's got 55, very 60 there, but this is poor. This is a full 62 meters or so. Well, he's not short on confidence. Is he short on length here? He's not. What a kick! What a kick from Reese Patchell, and it had something to spare. <laughs> With him, it's in, it's interesting because they know he they know he can do it. They know he can do it. Um, so so another question would be, and this this goes back to what I said before in a, in a, in a video I did a while ago that. If you've got these sort of specialist players, why don't you trust them, especially from the hands? You know, instead of trying to get all the way up the pitch to score a try, then sometimes scoring a, um, a drop drop goal or something could get you the points and win you the game if you've got that specialist. I might be talking out my backside, but it just seems like a logical thing, a logical tactic to have if you've got that specialist in your team. Paul Davis is laughing. <laughs> But it's hard not to. Okay. Stay at loose. Don't move. Don't move. Stop. Okay. Ninja of time and space. Oh, for he's getting ready. Bang. He's having a drop Bang. goal attempt. He struck it long as he got the direction. Distance. Oh, boy. Oh, what a wide start. Rian Fallon. Magnificent strike from the fullback. If you can do it, it's three points on the board. Yet. Unbelievable! That is on the ten-yard line, Rian Fallu, and I saw him knocking them over while the players were warming up. He was striking it sweetly. Oh, that he couldn't have been much closer. That could not have been much closer. That upright delight. Stain says, "Yeah, I fancy my chances from here." Now then, this is one of his distances, isn't it? He scored a couple against Toulouse last week from 60 meters. Uh, he's got a small. He's got the angle as well. <laughs> but it's a big. That stadium, I'm, I'm going to side point her. That is a funny looking stadium. You've got sort of an old, old sort of Craven Cottage, i.e. Fulham, Fulham's ground. And then you've got like an open, open uh, stand there that's quite deep. Strange looking ground. But it's a big, big cask of this fullback. That is it. It is without a doubt in his range, but whether you know we saw him the first half and we know that he can be hot, he can be cold. Sixty-six meters. Hot last week, he missed one earlier and an easier one. So, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Six meters longer. It's giving it a good wallop. What a kick! Sixty-six meters. Child's play. I love that. The commentators, yeah, he can do it, but we're not sure. He missed one. Child's play. Oh. 26 points to 12. So what a player. And I think we see a, a couple of substitutes over on the far side. How Bob warming up one? and uh, probably what Straight racing need at this stage. Straight Straight a few guys on, but I think there's some Leinster ones as well. If you can score like that, I don't understand yes, why people don't do it more often. Coming onto the field at loose head in place of Hanky from the middle. And I, I, yes, I understand it's not that easy. quickly isn't it amazing how all the fans shut up when there's a there's a kick being taken god you would not get that in football there would be boos and everything going on great kick 
Yeah, I know why there's no sound now, because there's no bloody support. <laughs> when I open my mouth too soon. This is proof that this is my first time watching this, all right? Just as a proper reaction channel should do. I haven't looked at the video already, and then I put my foot in it and I sound like a complete plonker. Right on the stroke of half time, Jordy Barrett, 58 metres out. See, he's got a very straight run up. And away it goes. Distance is not an issue. Nice. That was my example earlier on of when I'm coaching football to kids. If you want a power shot, a nice hard kick, you have more of a straight run up. Think um, Roberto Carlos when he's taking a free kick. If you want a, a swinging kick, now granted I understand the balls are different shapes, um, but if you want the ball to swing, you would have a side run up. Now he, he met that kick then, um, showed a straight run up power to get the distance. What a kick that is! Jordy Barrett lands a mammoth penalty goal to bring down the curtain on the first half. Very and straight. Look at up. this. Look, laces. It sailed over easily. Bang. Laces. To get within the opportunity. Hello, Wayne. Because if they'd stayed in their own half, Saracens can defend differently. They can give away penalties knowing they're safe. Right when they get down here, Saracens know they can't. But has he found touch? Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! That is monstrous! Pinpoint. A howitzer of a boot! Now, I learned this very early on when watching rugby. It, it's The game is about territory. In football, it's not about territory. In rugby, it really is. So... To be able to kick the ball from that distance right in the corner, keeping it on the, keeping it kind of just in that corner, that is some mean feat. And think that's probably harder to do to get it right in that corner than it is to score the score the uh, to score the goal because scoring a goal you've got you know a big post to aim in. With that, you're trying to aim for a couple of meters rather than what ten meters or whatever, however big the goal is. From Henry Slade. Point. Let's put them seven metres out. That's Let's fantastic. Unbelievable. He's going to have a shot 60 metres out, 61 metres out. He must have had one or two for a training to think he's got a, a chance of getting it from here. He is a great striker of the ball, is Daniel Carter. This, however, would be an absolute monster. Well, I, I'm not positive that Rick was the last person. Might have been Don Clark. It's Bang. flying. It's flying. It's still flying. Unbelievable. Saracens. Now this will Marcelo be Bob. the biggest of South American cannons if it splices the uprights. Oh, he barely, he barely touched it. He barely touched it. That is astonishing. As the commentator said, I've heard that voice and I can't think of his name, but um, as the commentator is saying, he barely touched that one and it went a distance. He used the inside of his foot, it looked like, maybe the instep, to get that distance and hardly really even putting much force in, you know, much of a swing behind it. That's pretty awesome and impressive. But he was kicking a beach ball. <laughs> so his isn't quite as, as wide. This is more of a 45 degrees. First kick of the match. Looks like it has plenty of distance on it. Oh, and it just. Slips over the back. That is an absolute ripper from Luke McAllister. Welcome back. Welcome back, Luke. Now, number eight. Got him out. Halen. Good long. Maak zelf de actie. Raden maken met de kick. Rubber kick. And then the Portuguese die the ball uh, niet in touch kicken. Oh, knap this. Ja. Ofwel, laat hem maar in touch gaan. Ja, dat betekent meteen einde verhaal voor wat betreft uh, de eerste helft. We gaan hier rusten. Hit down, the strike is good. It was a smooth one. Has he got That's the distance? Wrap. Six direction. Oh, oh, oh. Joel Stransky. No, that's fine. No, well. Absolute monsters, and 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 so the the biggest one was about sixty six meters, I think. Is it harder to kick from the floor, or is it harder to kick with when the ball's in your hand? That is my final question. 
I hope you enjoyed. As I said at the start, like and subscribe. Discord link down below. Merchandise link down below. Um, buy me a coffee link down below. And yeah, I'll catch you next time.